What's up everyone, this is with another video review and today we're going to be taking a look at something that I got out of an old camper at an auction and maybe you'll remember this video from a long time ago when I did my haul slash unboxing thing. This is Transformers Armada Thundercracker and he has a lot of gimmicks and features so this video is going to be showing all of those and right now I'd highly recommend buying them if you can find them but um, I will be getting to Facebook soon. I remember Prime John 1 saying someone that I could friend on Facebook that would sell me pieces for this guy. Um, yeah and Prime John 1 if you want to private message me a link to your Facebook that way you know I could friend you and whatnot. Um, Go ahead and do that. But anyhow, this is Thundercracker, and I absolutely love him. So let's go ahead and get into some of his features. Now, to show off some of the features, as you all know, Transformers Armada had a lot of mini cons. This right here is going to be one that I'm going to need for my demonstrations for other features that he has. But for features in his jet mode, he has this button that you press. Pretty much if you just hold it in, it'll just keep repeating itself. Pretty much it's just a gun. And then, I'm guessing there's supposed to be a piece underneath, I'm guessing, where, where it holds this or something. Because if you push it while I hold this button in below, it does this. It has a jet mode, but then when you hold it in... It goes into the firing gun mode. And I really think that's kind of cool. Um, back here, it has this... I don't know if you can hear it, but it's like really silent, but when you pull this back, it's, it's pretty much a jet sound. But then if you just hold it in, uh, it repeats forever. I don't know when it shuts off. But anyhow, um... Alright, so now it finally shut off, but if you hold it in for longer than what I did, it will go on forever and ever. Um, now to do this one feature, this is for like robot mode, you can do it here, there's the minicon port. You put it on here, and it'll activate the spring things, and his guns will fold forward. And this is for robot mode, but if you, if you leave the minicon on here and then pull this back. Oh, I don't have a push down all the way. You get firing gun sounds, so I really think that's really kind of cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple comparisons in jet mode here. So, here we have... I should have never pressed that right. Here we have Thundercracker on the and, one side. And now, I believe we have a Universe Megatron. I mean, my brother said it was Megatron because I got to looking around in that uh, booklet at the MP Megatron came with and I believe there was a car mode of this guy but it was just like upgraded more and so and it has like every Megatron besides like Armada Megatron so maybe it's the Universe or Cybertron Megatron I'm not even sure but I, I don't even know if this is a good scale or not I really don't so now we come to Transformers Generations Thundercracker. So now here we have apples compared to apples here now. This is actually a G1 mold and they just kind of repainted it to make it, you know, generations line that way they could just, you know, resell it again. But, you know, it's amazing how Thundercracker went from being so bulky and awkward to getting into the generations line where he's like more streamlined and everything. If I were to recommend any of them, it'd be, it'd be tough. It would, it would be really tough if recommendations. So now to transform Thundercracker what you want to do is come around here and un well, I guess untab this where it like brings down but I don't know. I haven't transformed this guy in a while. Okay so untab all this and kind of bring his leg out rotate it around bring it out rotate it around and there you have his legs already finished and they do remind me of like Skyquake maybe by how bulky they are, I guess. Um, and you want to bring this up 
and then fold his legs down. Okay, now I got his legs and waist area done. Now what you want to do is bring this up, and the cool feature is when, yeah, you push that down, bring this together, and his head will pop up. Really cool. You fold this down, and I accidentally made that go off. And what you want to do next is fold his arm down, and I really have no idea of the proper way his arms are supposed to go, but I'm guessing like that. And you take his hand, it is a pain in the butt to get there. There we go. Alright, so you fold out his hand. And I'm still pushing buttons. Fold out his other arm. Fold out his hand there. And now pretty much here, here you have a Thundercracker in his robot mode. All right, so now here we have Transformers Armada Thundercracker in his robot mode. Now this guy is pretty big and that's why I had him sitting all the way back, but I now just like took him and angled my camera up and now we can see this guy perfectly great. He has one great looking head. I mean that that is that is Thundercracker right there. I absolutely love that head there. Um and for articulation for this guy, he has, I don't know, rotate here, whole bunch of bends here, and then nothing at the wrist. Um, and I push some buttons again. No, no in and out, surprisingly, just back and forth. Thought there'd be in and out. Bend at the knee and rotate at the knee, and oh yeah, another part of transformation, fold out his little heel thingamabobs. So, now he's complete. But anyhow, this is probably one of my least favorites, I guess, considering he has a whole crap ton of back kibble, I guess. And like I said before, he's missing a wing, too. Uh, the guy wouldn't give us enough time to find the wing, actually, and he said we were bothering him, so I was like, okay, well, I guess we'll just go now. So, but what you can do is you can take the wings off, Ah, there we go. And if I had the other one, it'd be a little better. But you can take it, fold it out, and now it becomes like a, a sword thing, I guess, that he holds. And he can hold it in his hand. So but if he had both of them, it'd look really cool. And then you can take this and like rotate that however you want it. So that that looks that looks okay. Now for the gimmicks in robot mode are technically the same ones you had in jet mode. And of course there's the button that I've always been pressing. Whereas the gun noises and then of course, you know, jet sounds. And then you can take the mini con of course. Peg it on his back here. And of course it'll do that same noise that there was in jet mode. And then of course you do have buttons here where sometimes the missiles like to fire. Yeah, there you go. You have a missile fire. Maybe that scared you, I don't know. Take cover. Okay, well, see this guy's been rotten in a camper for a while. Um he doesn't he doesn't do much. Considering of what his past was probably like. So you know, I wish they could talk because then you'd know like who played with them or like, you know, how good they were taken care of. So far his joints are tight. He was taken care of good. But the previous owner did not take care of the wing whatsoever. He just completely lost it. So, let's go ahead and get into a couple comparisons for robot mode. Here we have Thundercracker right there. So now, here we have Thundercracker next to what I think is Megatron. And, uh, yeah, Thundercracker is never bigger than Megatron. But like I said, these are from two different lines, I believe. So, you know, it, there, there's going to be a size difference. And now here we have him next to Generations Thundercracker, which I think is the best of the two, of course. I mean, of course there's going to be a big size difference considering they're both different lines. But if I were to, now in robot mode, when I really think about it, if I were to recommend any of them, go with the Generations guy. Uh, but then, of course, if you want something that's going to be worth money someday, go with this guy. That's all I can really say. Alrighty, so now we're done with the gimmicks and everything, but I do have to point out, just so that you can add a mini con anywhere, he does have the port here, and the other port on his arm. So, now we're gonna go ahead and attempt to transform him back. What you wanna do, fold in his hands, 
which, like I said, the joints are tight still, which I'm very happy about. Take this, fold that up, unpeg his waist, fold his head in, peg that in there, and then take his leg, oh yeah, take the heel thingamabobs, fold them in, rotate his legs to where they're like that, take his arms, fold them in, just going to kind of collapse in there a bit. Same thing on the other side, it's just going to kind of accordion collapse type thing. And now we're going to take his legs, oh yeah, and rotate them like that, fold them in, and then there will be, oh, where's this located? There's going to be a peg here, and there's going to be a hole somewhere right, somewhere, that's all I know. Oh yeah, it's going to be somewhere located in here. I'm going to just peg that in. All you gotta do is rotate the leg around again. Peg that in over there. And here you have Thundercracker back in his jet mode. Very simple transformation. Now when it comes to recommending this guy, considering he is an older figure, um, it is, and it's still loose there, it is a bit hard, but if you were gonna find this guy anywhere, I'd recommend picking him up, considering he is gonna be worth money someday, and he was taken care of. If I can only find that one long lost wing that he's never had, he won't be able to fly anymore and that's the only problem. <laughs> but anyhow, we, you know, uh, I guess, I guess go out and pick him up. Uh, Amazon, eBay, TF Source, I don't know. But thanks for tuning in guys, I hope you liked this video review of Transformers Armada Thundercracker. Yet again, Prime John 1, put a link. Uh, to your Facebook, private message me that, and then private message me a link to the guy on Facebook that'll, uh, yeah, or else it's a group thing, I guess you said it was on my live shows, um, to get this guy's wing back. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video review, comment, and resubscribe for more Transformers. And I'll talk to you guys later. Adios. We found you.